All right, so welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom table cell. So in the last video, I showed you how to um, basically build a table view in Playground. And if you had followed along, um, this is kind of where I ended the tutorial, where we created two separate sections, one that has our featured recipes and the other that has the latest recipes. So in this video, I'm going to basically transfer what I did here in Playground into a project. So go ahead and create a project, which I have already. <laughs> um, just basically a single view project and go ahead and open it up. So um, first what we need to do is we need to create a file for our um, model. So let's go ahead and create a Swift file real quick. And then um, let's move this up here. Let's rename our mo model to recipe. And let's go back here and copy our class, our recipe class. And let's uh, import UI kit, just be on the safe side. Let's go ahead and save that. Um, before, before we continue, let's go ahead and build our project so that it recognizes that we actually have a model here. Okay, so everything should have succeeded. <laughs> and then our table view controller, what we want to do is we want to change this to UI table view controller. And I'm going to make this a little, pr little bit prettier. <laughs> Uh, just for myself <laughs> and save that um, let's go to a main storyboard let's go ahead and delete this view controller so literally just click on the little view controller here and uh, you should be able to actually just click over here and delete it and then we'll go ahead and bring on a table view controller and click on it and we want to do is bring in our new class, which is view controller, which is technically a table view controller because we just changed it to a table view controller. All right, so now we have a table view controller. <laughs> All right, uh, then let's go ahead and go back to our um, playground and let's go ahead and copy everything here except for the playground current live view. Let's go ahead and copy everything. And let's go ahead and paste it in here. Make sure everything copied over. Okay, it looks like it did. So let's go ahead and save and build. Okay, so we have two warnings. We have um, the prototype table cells have to have a re reuse identifier. And it's also saying that the view controller is not reachable because it's not set to initial. So, um, oops, I did not mean to do that. Go ahead and go to main storyboard. Um, click on your view controller. Go to the, system, the S attributes inspector and click is initial view controller. That should satisfy that one issue then go into table view cell and the reuse identifier we're going to just name this uh, cell I believe that's what we have it set up for oh no we have it set up as capital C so let's go back and paste that in there let's save and build and we shouldn't have any um, warnings and we don't Okay, let's go ahead and run this real quick to see what happens. And there we go. Um, I should probably make this a little bit bigger, but basically it, it, it works just as well as it did in the playground. So now we have transferred everything. 
So if you didn't know how to transfer, you know, the work that you do in Playground, that's how you do it. <laughs> um, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, but now on to the main thing, which is building our prototype cell. Because right now uh, we do have custom, but it doesn't give us much, you know, um, work, nothing really much to work with. Yeah, we can do right detail. Um, left detail, uh, subtitle, but there's nothing that not nearly as extensive as we have in the example, which we have a, 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 a table, and, um, what do we have here? It's not nearly as extensive as what we have in the UI, which is we have an image view, we have multiple labels here, so we're gonna go ahead and try to build this out. And the only way to do it is to build a custom table cell. So the first thing we need to do is we first need to create a new file. So I'm actually gonna make this a little bit bigger. Okay, <laughs> be a little bigger for you to see. Um, let's go ahead and create a new file. And then we need to go to user interface and select an empty file under user interface. And click next. Uh, then we're gonna give this um, a name. Let's see what I think of a good name. Um, let's do view. table cell and create that. All right, so now we have our um, exhib file or nib. I'm gonna drag it up um, slightly above the main storyboard. All right, so what we need to drag onto it is a table view cell, which we have right here. Oh geez, that's awesome, right? Let's just add it to the thing. And we have to make it uh, a little bit bigger. Let's go back to our example and let's click on that to see how high it is. I'm going to do a very even number. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, this is 238 or 232. I'm actually going to do probably just 230. <clears throat> so let's go to the size inspector and we have the row height as 213. So let's just do 230 which will be the custom size and uh, the width. And yeah, we're just gonna keep basically as is for right now. Um, so you don't need to do anything really to it. So let's go to image view. Actually, I think we might have to do something with the width. Let's see what the width is on this. 344. Let's do 345. Okay, it looks a little bit more like it. All right, let's drag an image view on here. All right, I'm not sure exactly how tall it is. All right, it looks like it's taken up a little bit more than half. So it's about 128. So I'm going to do a nice even 130. Okay. Then we have some labels. So I'm going to add these labels. I'm going to probably speed it up here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to wait through this.
All right, so I have added several labels to correspond with the properties that are in my model. So if you've done this, great. I've kind of kind of followed the size um, and some of the color scheme, not really, uh, that I did or that I'm copying from, which is here, uh, to the custom cell. So let's go ahead and connect this cell. We need to give this cell an identifier. So let's go ahead and look at our cell and let's give it an identifier, which we've used already, um, which is capital C for cell. So let's just do custom cell with a capital C for cell so that we know which one we're working with. <laughs> All right. So now that that's done, we need to now set up a class for our interface to connect to the code and the labels and the image. So we have to create a new file. So let's do that again. Create a new file here. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to select a Cocoa Touch class, hit next, and we're going to choose a name for our class, uh, which would just be something simple like um, table cell. And then this, it needs to be subclass of UI table view cell. Wow, that's pretty redundant. So <laughs> let's just do a custom table. Let's do a capital C. All right, click next. Let's create it. All right, so now we have our um, new file. <laughs> so let's go ahead and um, build this out. All right, so what we need to do is we need to go back to our exhib file and open up the assistant editor. And I don't know why it does that to me sometimes, but sometimes it just doesn't open right up to what I need to look for or need to work with. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can work with this. All right, I tend to go from um, the explorer here on the side when I'm connecting my outlet. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just create an outlet for everything that I've added here. So I'm going again, I'm going to probably speed through this. So it, you know, you can name these as you go, push pause when you need to. But before we connect our outlets, what we need to do, what I forgot to do, is we need to actually connect it to the class. So <laughs> connect to the class first <laughs> before we do that. So I go to custom cell and click custom table view cell. I'll go ahead and build. Wait, we have no errors. So let's go back to connecting these outlets. All right, so I have connected all of my labels and my UI image. So now I am ready to implement this in the table view controller. So let's go ahead and go to our table view controller and we will minimize or go back to our uh, standard editor. Okay, so we have our feature titles and our data and recipes and everything like that. So what we actually need to do is we need to hook up our uh, nib or exib file 
to this so it knows that uh, we're not using the default cell that we um, had originally coded for. So how do we do that? Well, we need to bring in the nib. So we're going to do let nib equal UI nib. And if you're wondering what nib is, it's basically an object that wraps or contains interface builder nib files. Very, very nifty, huh? All right, <laughs> let's go ahead and do the nib name string and bundle. So the nib name is the name of our cell, which is view. Actually, we have to do the string. So it's view table cell and the bundle is nil. Pretty easy. <laughs> the next thing we need to do is we need to register this nib as the cell. So we're going to do table view dot register. And if you're wondering what that does, it register a class for use in creating new table cells. Uh, then we're going to do the cell class, which is nib that we um, implemented up here. And for the for cell reuse identifier, if you remember um, in the exhib <laughs> uh, portion, I named it um, custom with a small c, cell with a large c. And if you're not sure, I can go back and show you. Go back here and we see the identifier is custom cell. All right. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is load this. <laughs> All right. All right, so what we need to do is go down to cell for row at, and we need to update this method as well, because right now we are still referencing our default. So let's go in here and fix it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, comment this out for just a second. All right, so um, since I'm going to be calling in a cell, I want to actually, um, because it's custom, and I also want to set it as a table view, so I want to ensure that there's no errors as it um, sets it up. Because if there is, it's going to fail horribly. So I'm going to use a guard statement in this example. So I'm going to do guard let cell be custom table view cell, which is the, the uh, what I set it to, the um, class that the table view cell is. And I'm going to have that equal to self dot table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier. And was the identifier? It is custom cell. And I'm going to assume, so I'm going to do as this, as its class custom table view cell. So I'm saying it should be this. If it isn't, I'm going to throw an else statement, which will completely jump out of this um, method if it does, if it's not true. And because it, it will throw an error, um, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, I'm going to actually import a debugging library called os.log. Um, I like how it debugs and tells you it doesn't, um, it's really clear <laughs> if something breaks and, tell, and you can like make it really, really clear where it broke. So I'm going to use that. So it's just os underscore log. I'm going to do my parentheses. I'm going to do a message. So I'm going to do dequeued cell isn't. An instance of custom table view cell, and then I'm going to do log. It's going to be the just default, and then de and then the type is going to be debug. I mean, I know a lot of people do print statements. That's wonderful and great, but this actually will give way more details as to what broke. And then, actually, I'm not going to do return. I'm actually going to do a, a fatal error. OK, so that should work. All right, so I set up the recipe already in Playground. So now what I need to do is basically assign all my cells 
um, properties. Um, let's go ahead and comment this out. Oops. All right, so let's build out the cell. So if you call cell dot, it should give us, oh, it gives us all of the uh, properties, or all, all of our outlets that we had identified in our custom cell. So we know that this is working enough to realize, oh, here are all the outlets you have. So let's go ahead and start with recipe label name. I'm gonna do text and that is going to be equal to recipe dot title. Actually, I'm going to do it side by side so it's easier for me to do this. having things side by side so it's easy for me to go back and forth. Okay, so I'm going to most likely speed this up. All right, so I have added um, all of the cells um, outlets and have assigned them to um, either a, a recipe value or reference to a set value. Um, I also did some concatenation here because uh, the prep time is an int and I did string describing. Um, as you probably noticed, uh, Xcode kind of freaked out when I didn't add that, so I added that. And the only difference I made here was with the difficulty. Since it is an integer, I decided instead of doing integers to say, okay, if it's equal to one, then do easy, otherwise it's challenging. And I, I would probably change this to say easy or moderate or hard or whatever, but I'm just doing it like this. <laughs> just make it easy on myself. Um, let's go ahead and go back to the standard editor and let's open up the side panel here. And then I'm going to bring in some assets so I can test this out. All right, so let's go ahead and add our images. So going off of uh, the images here, I just basically copied them um, and, well, actually I just saved them with the mask. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and drag them over to my assets. And now we see that all of the images are now inside of our project. Um, then the next thing I need to do is I need to go back to my table view cell, uh, go ahead and select it and make sure that the width is 375. This is going to drag the width across the screen. Um, so make sure that your width is set to 375 and not like the amount that I have before. And then let's go ahead and save that. Let's go back to our view controller and I need to update the sample data here. So I actually have already updated it so to um, match the image. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. I'm only going to have four, not the five. So um, again, make sure if you know if you want to match exactly what I'm doing, make sure you pause it and download the images and then drag them over, making sure that you have your UI image named to the image uh, that you're referring to. So in this case, pudding is, when you look at the assets, that's the name of it. Uh, and then let's go ahead and save. And everything else should apply as far as the logic here to sort. So let's go ahead and build and run. I'm actually gonna do um, X or iPhone 10. All right, 
right, so we see it's loaded. Uh, we kind of have some problems with the sour, or the fish tacos. So we must have typed it incorrectly. So let's look at the assets real quick. Oh, I didn't drag it over. That would help, right? <laughs> All right, so I drag it over, let's stop and rerun this. All right, so there we go. Um, our feature recipe is the uh, fish tacos, and then we have um, all of our wonderful um, other recipes here. So. As you see, we can't do this unless we actually have a custom cell. Um, if you find that uh, this is, doesn't look exactly the way it's supposed to, um, definitely mess around with the constraints, but this is how it should look. Hopefully this has helped you out. If it has, you know, just give it a thumbs up. Um, you know, if you want to be notified of my other videos that I upload, you have to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications. All right, friends, keep calm and code on.